Meanwhile, countries across the globe have quickly closed their borders to the United Kingdom as a new coronavirus variant is effectively canceling Christmas celebrations in parts of England. The concern shared by the global, global community is if this variant becomes more widespread, it could make the virus even harder to control. Dr. McGeorge is here to explain all that for us. Hey, Doc. Hey, Jason and Kim. Yeah, you know, we've talked about different changes or mutations that happen with some regularity to the SARS-CoV-2 virus. These can often be useful to trace when and where the virus is spreading. Occasionally, though, several individual mutations either accumulate or they occur at once, and that can give rise to a new variant of the virus with new characteristics. Uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot continue with Christmas as planned. That coming over the weekend as British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced the concern over a new coronavirus variant in the UK. It may be up to 70% more transmissible. France has closed ports to the UK while Germany, Italy, Turkey and Canada have closed their borders to air traffic. The new coronavirus variant is currently known by a couple of different unassuming names. The UI 2020-1201 for virus under investigation, or based on its viral lineage, it's known as B117. It has 17 distinct mutations, eight in the gene that encodes the spike protein that allows the virus to bind to and enter our cells. It's thought to have developed in a chronically infected individual. The concern? There's been a distinct increase in its presence in southeast England. Initial analysis suggests that this variant is growing faster than the existing variants. We've currently identified over a thousand cases with this variant, predominantly in the south of England. It was first identified in September, and there is already evidence that it's made its way to Italy, Belgium, Denmark, and the Netherlands. So far, there is no indication that this variant produces more severe illness or would make the existing vaccines any less effective. Now, there are ongoing lab studies to really test if this variant is genuinely more transmissible. The issue is, of course, that even if it's not more dangerous by itself, if it spreads more easily, it's more likely to infect someone who is going to be at higher risk and essentially still cause more illness and death. And Frank, I know we're separated by an ocean, but is there any indication of whether this variant could be present in the United States? Important point, you know, not in any of the reports that I have seen so far, but you know, if this is truly more transmissible in time, it will become a more dominant or more common strain. And it really only takes one infected person to essentially import it from somewhere else. Yeah. And uh, Doc, you've also got an update on your experience getting the Pfizer vaccine. Tell us about that. Yeah, suffice it to say, I spoke too soon last Thursday when I said I didn't have any side effects. I'll be back at six to talk more about that. All right. We look forward to it. Thanks, Doc.